नेक्स्ट वॉर इज गोइंग टू बी अ मल्टी डायमेंशनल वॉर है इट इज ऑलरेडी हैपनी यू कैन सी यू आर फाइटिंग वॉर्स नॉट एट द बैटल फील्ड बट इट कुड बी ऑन सोशल मीडिया इट कुड बी द बैंकिंग सिस्टम टूडे वी हैव टेकन अ बिग स्टेप इन फैक्ट अबाउट वन टू वन एंड हाफ ईयर्स बैक वी हैव ऑलरेडी सेटअप कपल ऑफ सेंटर्स ऑफ एक्सेलेंस विच विल यूज दिस इंफॉर्मेशन टू गिव अस बेटर प्लानिंग फोरकास्टिंग एबिलिटी एज वेल एज रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट for future wars pan air force you have a visibility of what are the spares being used how much is the inventory what what is in short supply what needs to be procured what is already in, in the process of procurement so we have been joined by the deputy chief of air staff air marshal tiwari sir uh, today symposium of ai in defense has happened many things have said uh, in in the defense sector that again uh, dr subrato has also said that uh, the ai the ai in defense is the most uh, difficult one so again i want to particularly ask how indian air force is is using ai in the force okay so one um, important thing is that first of all uh, as you know uh, air force is a very technology intensive uh, organization so we have technology today so a lot of data and uh, our all our systems are largely networked so today what is happening is we have all the elements that are required to use ai because for ai the first thing you need is data and data has to be in a certain usable format so today we have taken a big step in fact about one to one and a half years back we have already set up a couple of centers of excellence which will use this information to give us better planning forecasting ability as well as resource management for future wars so i'll give you one or two examples where we are actually using ai i will uh, even today we have got integrated material management online system which we call inmals what it does is pan air force you have a visibility of what are the spares being used how much is the inventory what what is in short supply what needs to be procured what is already in, in the process of procurement so what it does is it gives you a very you know good dashboard to see where systems or invent uh, equipment is where your inventory is so if a spare is required in let's say i'll give you example in jodhpur but actually it is not available in at the base a person there can see where it is available and it may be available in bangalore and it can contact bangalore to you know send the spare there so that keeps that uh, that ensures that we have a optimum inventory and you can utilize and you don't have a dead stock so we are this data today now is getting ai enabled to give you forecasting of what are high failure rate date um, spares which are required in more which are long lead items so it basically gives you a better planning tool so that tomorrow if there is a operation or war you are better prepared now i want to particularly no, no, uh, talk, talk about the non kinetic wars that we talk about cyber warfare to to something that is not presently here but in future uh, it it will be definitely here so what is your take on that since we are venturing into the ai and especially in defense how do you see this sector and again the defense shaping the whole 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 sector okay so this is a very very important aspect because uh, next war is going to be a multi dimensional warfare it is already happening you can see today whether you see ukraine or any other conflict a uh, lot of war is actually a social media perception you are fighting wars uh, not at the battlefield but it could be on social media it could be the banking system it could be so your your threat is not only at the border cyber security or cyber, your entire economic system is networked your financial system is networked your shipping is networked your airlines uh, are networked so if i can bring down let's say you know the financial system a hub of which is you know sitting somewhere you know 2000 kilometers away from the border your entire system is going to collapse and that will affect the military also so today we are very cognizant of this fact that wars are not only going to be fought at borders everyone is going to get affected and therefore uh, all our systems have to be robust there has to be multi agency approach so that is equally important today earlier it was warfare was only you know left to the security forces okay but today it's a whole of government approach and that's why our prime minister and everyone keeps talking about a whole of government approach because finally every economic the commerce maritime everything is connected and you know as a secure system so we have to ensure 
that we have the safe security and we learn from each other we pass on information to each other because what information is available to me may be of benefit to let's say you know the navy uh, to the commerce ministry to cyber center the cyber security center so we have to have this you know close proximity with each other and we should be able to communicate each other freely so that information flows in time and we can take timely action so this was a marshal tiwari who talked about how ai is, how AI is going to shape the defense sector back to the studio Thank you.